Well, I wish <laughs> I wish I could do breaking news, uh, but uh, I, I, I'm going to work on my internet connection right now. I only get 0.6 uh, megabits, mega, anyway, upload speeds, and uh, anyway, Timothy T. Bolt, breaking news, big FBI, uh, the guy probably in charge of the FBI raid on Trump's house uh, has been fired, positive news. And uh, so I, I just kind of wanted to do a general, um, I don't know, rambling video on different things. Uh, and I've been contemplating. I wish I, could, I wish I had a sense of humor like Jeff Foxworthy because I wanted to do, you might be a Democrat if. And uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a few of those. So you might be a Democrat if. You believe fentanyl is a good thing, and uh, only 100,000, well, over 100,000 people have died. So as a Democrat, well, especially a progressive Democrat, you're just going, well, that just means it takes a lot less to get high. <laughs> so, so you might be a Democrat if you think 2 million people coming across the uh, open border in the South is a good idea. Oh, and of course, drug cartels. You might be a Democrat if you think that homeless people on the streets is a good idea and, and just step over their bodies and think, wow, they should have done better in life. Let's see. You might be a Democrat if you don't think that Millie is a traitor. Uh, you know, you might be a Democrat if you think that what took place in Afghanistan was a good idea. Uh, you might be a Democrat if, when confronted about what took place in Afghanistan, rather than debate the issue, you run away like a little little rat. Just run away, run away, run away. See, you might be a Democrat if you think 85,000 new IRS agents ain't going to come back to haunt you. you know, of course, it's only going to haunt Republicans. You might be a Democrat if you think a toaster is racist. Because <laughs> everything to a Democrat is racist. I mean, obviously, you know, I mean, any, any position you take against a Democrat is racist. You might be a Democrat if you think an Asian American is a racist individual that needs to be discriminated against. You might be a Democrat if you think that crime is not on the rise or if you just think that Hey, as long as you're living in your highfalutin area and uh, what's taking place down in the inner city uh, ain't going to come back to impact you. You might be a Democrat if you think that redistribution of wealth is a good idea. In other words, let's say uh, the student loans, you know, you're, you're going to say, uh, well, you know what? Um, that's just government money. No, no, it's, it's taxpayer money. Uh, and in fact, it's some of your money as a Democrat, but you might be a Democrat if you think, well, that, that doesn't impact me. I'm glad that all of these people are going to get forgiven for their student loans. You might be a Democrat if all you watch is MSDNC or CBS or ABC or CNN or all the propaganda from the uh, federal government. You might be a Democrat if you still think the FBI is on your side. <laughs> yeah. Oh, let's see. You might be a Democrat if you think raising taxes is a good idea. Oh, let's see. What else? Uh, you might be a Democrat if you think that, uh, you know, the housing uh, market, and this, this is probably true of, of, of some Republicans, uh, is not going to crash of which we are already in the death throes of that. I think we've seen a 25% decrease in uh, real estate prices across the nation. And uh, you might be a Democrat if you actually think the Federal Reserve has a handle on things and that the only way we're going to solve the debt crisis is not going to be by raising interest rates. It's going to be by hyperinflation. We're going to inflate our way out of this crisis. And... Uh, so you might be a Democrat if you still think that gold, platinum, and silver are pet rocks <laughs> and that the stock market's going to rebound. Oh, yeah, you might be a Democrat if you think that uh, there's not going to be a stock market crash. 
Oh, man, let's see what else you might be a Democrat about. Uh, you might be a Democrat if you think that all the Build Back Better is going towards infrastructure or the Green New Deal is going to work. You might be a Democrat if you're looking at Europe and thinking they're doing well with their Green New Deal. You might be a Democrat if you think that Russia isn't winning the war in Ukraine and that it's all by design. Or you might be a Democrat if you don't think that the hypersonic missiles that Russia has developed with nuclear warheads on them might just blow you up. Let's see. Uh, and that oh, nuclear war is winnable. Yeah, so that, that, that'd be a Democrat thought. <laughs> Let's see, what else you might be a Democrat about? You might be a Democrat if you think that all these young women coming across the border aren't being exploited by as sex slaves. Or actually, you might be participating in it if you're a Democrat. <laughs> that's the only thing I can do, figure on because uh, obviously that's what you want. You know, oh man, I tell you, you might be a Democrat if you're for abortion. So, okay, uh, and you say, well, a woman's right to choose. Well, no Republican stands against a woman's right to choose up to a certain point in most uh, states. Uh, and, of course, uh, you know, depending on the situation, uh, you know, whether the woman's threatened uh, by her unborn child. But, um, you know, you might be a Democrat if you think that centralizing power in a... In a uh, a socialist communist uh, government is better than having the power next to you where you can go into a local election and have influence. No, you want everything coming out of Washington, D.C. You might be a Democrat if you don't think that farmers grow food. <laughs> you, know, I mean, you, you might be a Democrat if you think fossil fuels are evil. You know, uh, you might be a Democrat if you think that windmills and solar panels are going to solve the energy crisis that, uh, oh yeah, and as a Democrat, you might be a Democrat if you think that pipelines are an evil thing rather than, uh, you would rather see trains and um, tractor trailers transporting all our oil uh, across the United States in uh, precarious situations rather than have a pipeline like the Keystone Pipeline. Woo! Uh, let's see. You might be a Democrat if you think that uh, cutting uh, fire lanes in forests to prevent forest fires and also using that timber for lumber is a bad idea. Hmm. What else? Uh, you might be a Democrat if you think that printing money to oblivion uh, and inflating the dollar into non-existence is a good idea because obviously as a Democrat, you think that we can just spend, spend, spend money. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, I don't know. I guess, uh, you know, that's kind of my Jeff Foxworthy thing on, on, on the Democrats. Uh, so let me get into to where I think things are heading uh, as far as... Uh, the whole, the whole deal, and uh, man, I tell you, I, you know, we get a little bit of positive news every now and then, and that's uh, the initial thing about the FBI guy getting uh, fired. That was good, but uh, whew, we're heading for some dark times. Um, let me, let me, let me explain. I mean, if you think that Millie and well, Austin, I mean, Austin's a complete idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that guy's dumb in a bag of stones. Oh, God, he's in charge of our military. But, uh, no, I mean, you know, if you think that, you know, they don't know what they're doing. They knew what they were doing. When, when, when we pulled out of Afghanistan, it was by design. They, they wanted to, to tarnish the United States. I mean, these people are all about destroying everything. Um, you know, and the border. No way you let two million people across the border. But a lot of people go, well, you know, they don't know what's going on or, you know, the border. Well, if you're a Democrat, you probably believe the border's secure. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, if you're a Democrat, you probably don't know that George Washington was the first president of the United States or who Thomas Jefferson, John Adams, Hamilton. I mean, Abraham Lincoln, you probably don't even know who they were, you know, 
or Ronald Reagan for that matter. Oh my God. I love watching them interviews. on. If you're a Democrat, you probably think that the news that you're getting, what little bit that you study, you know, uh, is, is actual news and not propaganda. Oh my God. How far can I go with all of this? But anyway, so what took place uh, in Afghanistan was by design. Um, Isolating Russia, uh, basically forcing them into, uh, a, well, what do they call it? The brick, the, the new brick, well, there's brick and woods way back in the day, and, uh, and now the new nations, uh, India, China, Russia, they're all aligned to establish their own currency. Uh, basically, we're just hastening that all along, and you can't say that this is all isn't by design. I mean, they're going to crush the dollar, and uh, I... You know, I would tell my um, stepsister that cash is trash. Um, so I hope, uh, and, and in that vein, just let's talk a little bit of local stuff. Uh, you know, um, like today, you know, for example, uh, you know, I, I've said in the past that the, the, oh yeah, if you're a Democrat, you feel like wearing a mask outside is a good idea. <laughs> It's going to protect you. And of course, it has to be a cloth mask, not an N95. You know, N95 might give you some protection. But uh, yeah, if you're a Democrat, you probably are still wearing a mask in a restaurant, walking up to your table and then taking it off so you can eat your food and thinking that protects you from whatever might be floating around. If you're a Democrat, you think that the COVID nightmare uh, is going to continue for uh, the next hundred years which it actually is. Uh, it's just like the flu. It's going to keep coming back, and we're going to have some, some devastating strains that are going to come through. The question is, are you going to turn all your, the power over to the government again to shut everything down and put everybody out of business, which they've already done for the most part. Uh, if you're a Democrat, you think hiring 87,000 new IRS agents is a good idea. Yep, yep, that's what Democrats want. I tell you. I hope to God they don't come to Florida. Get the hell out of Florida. Stay, stay in New York. Stay in California. Stay in Illinois. You know, those are three places. Of course, uh, you know, a, a lot of the northern states. Uh, be sure, you know, don't, don't come to Florida. Don't come south. Um, anyway, I guess that's about it for this video. I, you know, I, I really wanted to get into to the whole scenario as, it, as, it, as it's all taking place as to how they're just completely destroying the dollar. And, you know, and basically, you know, there's going to be a new currency here soon. And, uh, man, that is going to hurt all of us. And uh, I don't know. I can't predict the future other than that. And uh, all I can tell you um, is what I'm doing. I'm not a financial guru. I, I buy a little bit of silver here and there from time to time, and that's all I can afford. Um, and then as far as the house goes, I'm always replacing stuff. So, you know, now might be a good time to buy some N95 masks. Um, let's, let's say the next strain of COVID is a, is another pandemic. You know, uh, I got caught with my pants down on this latest pandemic. Uh, I, I had some N95 masks, but they were, <laughs> they were from 2003. Oh my God. They were like 20 years old. I mean, you know, you put them on and they fell apart. So yeah, you might want to upgrade a little bit of that. Uh, right now, $19.99 at Walmart, you can get uh, 10 of them. Um, yeah, that's not a great price, but it's not bad. Um, the other thing that I bought was I went ahead and bought a, a full face shield. It's $109 at Walmart uh, with the canisters. Uh, and that's because you know I do woodworking and stuff, and it's nice to have those filters on. And, uh, and also, um, uh, you know, I do do some work with some mirror acid and stuff like that with the, the vapors that come up. And uh, my old mask, I've been wearing it for <laughs> 15 years, I'm sure. it was. But you know what? It, I mean, it, my lungs never burnt wearing it, but I mean, it was time for it to go. And, you know, no way I could buy filters for it. So it was just time to go in. And, and did you want the full face mask? You could just get the respirator for your, your face. But uh, I thought, you know, what the hell? Because I'm guilty, man. I'll, I'll wear those goggles and then pop them up because I don't like the, the, the feel of the mask on my head. 
And, uh, and boy, you're setting yourself up for disaster at that point. You get some of those chemicals in your eyes or even some gases. Uh, hell, it, you know, even C4, I mean, yeah, breathing the stuff is bad, but it still burns your eyes, you know. I mean, if you've ever gone through a gas chamber, which I have, um, so, you know, I'd, you never know in your house, uh, I, you know, maybe the FBI uh, hasn't been cleaned out completely and uh, they might shoot some stuff through the windows, you know, you never know. Uh, anything else I wanted to cover in this video? I guess that's about it. Uh, so I will be putting up more videos here soon uh, once I get my internet connection fixed. Uh, I got to get the upload speeds and uh, at that point I can start uploading videos uh, fairly uh, regularly um, and, and not wait, you know, like this video will take easily 8-12 hours to upload. Um, and uh, I, I say that. And uh, so in the future, once I get everything fixed uh, or switch internet service providers, because I do have that uh, ability in my location here in Florida. Um, but one way or another, the internet problem will get solved. Uh, it's just I haven't had time since I got back after breaking my neck and uh, dealing with the house and, you know, basically uh, outfitting the house. I'm a prepper. You know, I'm a prepper. You know, I'm... I'm, I'm Anything in the house that that's old is going, you know, even spices. I I'm going through the spice cabinet. I got <laughs> I got vanilla extract that expired in 2011, you know, I mean, oh my God. I mean, but there were, a lot of that stuff was my wife's, you know, now that I'm divorced, you know, she had all that stuff up there and I never used it. I mean, what do you use vanilla extract for? I'm sure that women, you know, oh, yeah, you use it for this. And eventually, you know, I'll get some new recipes. And when I do, I'll, I'll use some of that stuff. All right, man. Let's do the mantra. Good to live in the free state of Florida under the great leadership of Governor DeSantis. And if you're a Democrat, stay the hell out of Florida. Move to New York, move to California, move to Illinois, as I've already stated. And, uh, and, and it's good to be free. Peace out.